Hey, it's Jack from BBTV. Are you looking for a great way to cut your foam for your new camera case? Or looking for answers on which foam to use? We'll get started right after this. The tools you're gonna need are a razor knife, preferably one like uh, that has a retractable blade like this because you'll have to cut through a couple inches of foam at a time. If it's just a regular razor blade, it's probably not deep enough. You need something with a long blade. I'll have links below for these two options. One is great for precise cuts and this one's good for like big just square cuts. Also, you're gonna need a marker. Uh, you can use a long tip marker or I'm just using a standard Milwaukee and you're going to need them for tracing around your equipment. I recommend two of them because sometimes the ink will run out or the foam will kind of suck it up. So just have an extra one available. And of course you need a tape measure. You're going to be doing a lot of measuring. This foam here is 20... 20 and a half by 15. So, and then the depth, I think it's about, yeah, seven inches. I have my depth layered in foam layers, not just one big piece of foam. The other option is a pluck and pick foam, which I don't recommend because it has a tendency to start to fall apart after six months when you're pulling your equipment in and out of your case. What I have here is the equipment I need to get in this case. I have a Sony a7 IV with a uh, DJI Ronin RSC2 version 2. I have four lenses and some accessories I need to get in here, batteries, etc. I'm going to take advantage of the layer system of this case so I can get different layers and get more equipment into this case because there's quite a bit to go in here. First thing we're going to do is clear space. Um, you want just a, a good steady surface to work off of um, so you have room to lay out equipment and and your foam and so forth. I have my layout right here that I'm kind of I kind of like. I'm gonna work off of that but I want to show you here the layers that I have but we aren't gonna make any marks on it until we know depth where we want the equipment. But if you notice, this is three inch thick foam. So I have multiple layers of that three inch thick foam, two layers, and then I have a bottom layer. We won't cut into the bottom layer. We won't cut into the top layer. The only layers we'll cut into are these two layers here. I'm gonna push it back in there, kind of firm, like so. We're going to lay in some of our equipment. The camera body is going to go over here. This is going to take up a little bit of space. I'm trying to get my best option probably in this vicinity here. Maybe not. Yeah, I think that might work. Right now I'm going to focus on on these pieces right here and then I'll work on getting these other pieces in in a minute. And then this one's really short so we can we can fit it in here. First thing I'm gonna do is start marking my I'm using a black marker at black equipment. Try not to get your marker on your equipment and you want to mark it so that your equipment is snug. I'm just tracing around. And these Milwaukee pens, I use them for construction. Very good pen. We want to continue to look at depth too. So this lens right here is five and a half inches deep. Some of these, you don't want it to go too deep. This one's probably three inches deep. It is. I only want to go through the first layer. I got my three lenses cut out or marked. I think the camera might fit in this space. And then I have this area for accessories and stuff. 
We could also put the camera in like this. But again, we should measure that. If it's more than seven inches, that's not gonna work. It's, but it's just under six inches, which might be perfect to put the camera like that and then we're saving some space. I think right in here is where I'm gonna put the, the camera. And this is the new Sony A7 IV. What a beast. I'm gonna be doing a video on this, this camera. We could even make a note on this camera. Cam, six inches. This is probably only a couple inches deep. Yeah, so three inches. So we can also use that extra three inches if we don't go down too far. We can use that for equipment underneath like this for some of the accessories. So I'm gonna pull the, the Ronin out. I'm gonna put DJI and it's three inches. So we know that we're only cutting the first layer. On this one, we'll cut two layers. And this one is four inches. So we're gonna have to cut into the bottom layer a bit. And this one's almost six inches. So I'm gonna mark five and a half. This one's four inches. We'll put lens. And I'll show you how to pack when you cut this, you want to make sure you cut it clean and, and you keep that piece because you will you might use that to put it into the hole when you're done. Um, just to make it come up to the top a little bit more. This is uh, 18 to 105. Uh, yeah, it's an 18 to 105. Great lens. Works well with the A7. So we have these marked. I'm gonna move this equipment. If you notice, I have my cutouts. But remember this one and these two are gonna to have to go underneath. So we'll, once we cut them, we'll mark them again. I might resort to the other knife in a second on this next hole because if you notice, I got it kind of concaved which is not good. This one's not quite long enough. But this one, this one, if you notice, we could just go to there. See, this is plenty long. So we're gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna cut the camera. And if you notice, it, it goes right through. So the Kazen foam is the other option to use. That's a good foam. Okay. So we're gonna put that back in. Now look at, we have this that goes here. See how nice that fits? Really tight. So I have a couple other areas I gotta cut. I haven't got the accessories in, but I'm gonna finish the, the main equipment, like the camera, real quick. And then we'll worry about the other level. So I'm marking inside this hole into the other layer of the foam to put this lens in. I mean the uh, camera body. So this one's my 50 millimeter, it's only three inches. This one is five and a half inches. I'm gonna double check. Yep. So you want it tight, but not too tight. I might have these a little bit too tight. So and this one's gonna be four inches. So I just made a couple other marks. See? So this is gonna fit like that, okay? So again, 
I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to use my case as my bench for cutting. But we want to get it all the way through. So extend that blade. I think your best option is this DeWalt razor knife. It is, um, it's working pretty well for this. Uh, you can, you can get it online at the link below or uh, th this one was purchased at Home Depot. So I need two inches that we can stick back in the hole. Just mark it. It doesn't have to be exact. So I'm going to cut this piece. And I'm going to get rid of some of this mess. So just cut it. So I'm going to put that back in the hole for the lens to sit on. Now, remember, we have the foam in the bottom. That's our main you know, you got your top foam and then your bottom foam. That's how you're going to protract your equipment from the top and bottom. And you don't want to cut through those. So now we're going to start placing some of the equipment back in. So here we go. I got one lens. Here. I have the other lens, but this is, I feel like this one's too tight. This one fits nice, but I, I need to put a piece of foam. Remember, measure four inches. So I need that two inch piece of foam in here. I like that. So there. This one's too tight. We'll recut that. And then we got the, I think this was the 50, which will fit right, right in there real nice. So, and then we have the camera body. And we're doing something like this, I think. But I didn't make room for this and for the eyepiece still. So um, I'm actually going to go like this, and we're going to mark around that, and then we're going to mark around this. That should be an easy cut. And then this should fit nicely. Yeah, real snug. And again, we have three inches of foam under there, I could put a, a plate, a battery pack. You just don't want too much where it's sitting on, on that equipment. You still want it cushioned. So I'm going to pull this equipment back out. Yeah, this one was way too tight. So I'm going to pull. See, and I put this piece of foam back in here so that it's, you know, you can see it, it's, so this lens, this one just kind of sits in there. And then the other three inches covers your, the rest of the lens. So, but I need to, I need to cut. Oops. I need to cut one thing here. It should be good. Okay. There we go. So, there I got one lens. So 50, it's going to go right there. Perfect. Perfect. Camera body. Sony A7 IV, great camera. Great new features. Fits nice and snug. And then the Ronin. 
right in there. So I'm going to stop right here and I'll show you the results when we're done. So we've completed the case. If you notice, I, I labeled it. We have everything in its place. It looks beautiful. It looks secure. I know if I travel and this case gets thrown onto a conveyor belt or onto an airplane, my gear is gonna be fine when I get to my location. You never know. You could be in uh, uh, outdoor wildlife shooter. You want your stuff protected. So what I have here, what I use to label everything is the Brother printer. I use these Milwaukee markers to mark everything out on the foam. This is the cheaper cutter, which I didn't use. It just wasn't deep enough. The ideal knife is this DeWalt razor knife. You can get replacement blades for it. I have the air so I could clean that up in a vacuum, a side, and most of all, a tape measure because you need to measure things, how deep they go. But here it is. There it is right there. Hey, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit subscribe below. We have a lot of new videos coming your way.